Well, guys, here we are in Phoenix, Arizona. Right behind us is a historic home with, with massive, massive rat, rat infestation. infestation. And we're about to solve it right yeah. now. All right, guys, so I got a call from Emily who was describing a lot of scratching around the laundry area. She's starting to see a little bit of droppings around the kitchen area. There's also an exhaust bathroom fan that if she looks up at the light, the uh, urine and droppings are very noticeable. And it smells really, really, really bad. bad. So she's hired a couple other rodent companies. All they've done is sub a few exclusions, which helped a little bit. They figured that if they did that along with some trapping, that it would solve the issue. Well, they did catch some rats, but um, it's just constant. So we got a big day ahead of us. Let's step inside, let me show you the affected areas and the team is gonna go ahead and get started uh, right now in the kitchen. So let's go inside. All right, you can see the house is definitely a historical home, pretty brick home here. They've got, uh, she is on a crawl space and as you can see, they're they're closed off pretty well. Here, here's a couple things that we're seeing, you know, stuff like this you know, should be secured to the concrete foundation. Not the best, but uh, overall the outside seems to uh, to be covered. Now she's worried about this deck uh, because I think the crawl space access is under there, but we're gonna soon find that out. But she thinks that she's, they're coming in through this deck as well, which rodents absolutely love decks because as they're coming in through the back, they can run under here, they feel secure and then up into the home. So we're gonna go up on the roof today. We're gonna perform a smoke test as well. There's the roof there. All right, so let's go inside. All right, so here's the kitchen area right here. We've got our master plumber, Raul. He's gonna begin to uh, remove the dishwasher because when we did our first initial inspection, I took a flashlight inside this uh, crack here this opening and there was dog food. Now, um, Emily's dog food is in this area right here, which I told her to, from yesterday on, to not leave any dog food because they were, the rats were taking the dog and then running underneath the, uh, the dishwasher. So we're gonna explore that. And then here's the fan that, uh, that Emily was describing. You can see here the bathroom fans got urine and some droppings here. So we're gonna remove that cover, sanitize, and then run a camera and see what we have as far as how they're entering into that area there. So we got that there. We also have a laundry here that she's hearing a lot of activity. She's saying that this is the most activity that she's getting. And you can see here, there's a recessed peanut butter cup that the rat took a wrapper. So we're gonna explore this for sure. And then let me take you upstairs. These are some steep stairs. There's a little attic space right here. And uh, there's some traps way over there in this corner here. So we'll get some more light here in a little bit. But you can see here too, guys, during my initial investigation, rats love chewing on this uh, insulation. You can see here's another room here with an attic. Apparently they caught some, they caught some rats inside here. Here's a rat trap. And then downstairs here, there's another area where she's hearing them. Uh, in this area here, you can see that there's a bathroom. But right up of here in the closet, she's saying she's hearing a lot, which is, which is the steps. Dave getting the floor protection ready to go. So as you can see guys, we've got a lot going on here. A lot of migration. A lot of times what happens if you guys aren't hearing those noises, you've got to be able to get to it right away. Otherwise this is what happens. The rats take over, they start to migrate in other areas. And then later on it becomes a much bigger job to not only mitigate, but the damages are a lot more severe. So uh, we've got our smoke test team coming right now as well. So we'll head up to the roof while Raul is taking the dishwasher out. We're gonna explore those areas. So uh, here we go. Yeah, you can see here that the other rodent company already placed rat traps underneath the uh, the dishwasher. Yeah, you can see the dog food. I'll, I'll show you when we remove the uh, the dishwasher. Looks like they took a bait, the bait on that one. They didn't have no bait. No bait? Yeah, look like that. A lot of dog food, huh, Raul? Yeah, a lot of it. So that's a perfect example, guys, of uh, traps not working because the rats are smarter than that. They're gonna use the outside food source, in this case, the dog food, versus going after an object like that. So it's imperative, even though this house is spotless, there's the dog food that they're going after. Whoa, check this out. 
Look at all that dog food. That's how smart they are. They're just bringing that food in here. You can see that they're going in between. Yeah. So if you could see the uh, the opening there. Yep, right there. And the smear mark right there on the wall. Yeah, so here's the dog food right here. She had the water bowl and the, the feeding bowl right here. So that matches with uh, what the rats have been carrying over. A lot of times too, guys, even plastic like this, people think it's secure, but if the rats are aggressive, they're gonna chew through this plastic to get through this here. Highly recommend you just storing this away in a metal container. That way uh, it's fully secured. All right guys, so Emily noticed something here. If you could see, got some issues right here. So over here though, if we take the ferret camera, guys, this is what Pest control companies are missing out. What should have happened is they should have removed the dishwasher and then explored by here using a tool like the ferret camera, because check this out. See the hole right there? The yes, hole. yep. They're coming in through the crawl space, dude. Yep. Right there. Yeah, right where the water pipes are coming up. Exactly. So there's an access point right there. Okay. Do you have access, Jim, to yeah. Okay. Look at the hole here from the crawl space as well. Look at this. Yep. That was a good find. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like how are they getting? Look at that. Oh look it looks. Look, there's some bones right there. Look at this. Little bone. Look at that. There's little chicken bones. Where are they? That's weird. All right, let's pull the rest of this out. All right, here we go. Must be sitting right on this fan here. Ugh. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and get the um, exclusion done. David's uh, also applying our enzyme, but we're gonna go ahead and use our pure black. And we like to spray, make a little spritz, guys, with Tabasco. What happens is, what's really good about the Pure Black, as you spritz it, as it's expanding, the spritz with the water and the Tabasco impregnates inside that foam, so it cures it very hard, and the rats do not like that Tabasco smell. So, a little trick of the tree here. All right, guys, first of all, the rodent exclusion company have already come out here and look at how their exclusion material has already failed. There, it's impossible to have material like this last a very long time, especially in the uh, Arizona sun and heat and elements like this. So gotta make sure that your pest control company is going to use superior products and protect it with coating. So Dave, let's go ahead and do a, um, a sniff check. See if you can tell me if there's any rodent activity in there. Okay, guys, anything in that vent? Nope. Okay. Nope. Let's head over here now to this one. Okay, why don't you guys do it at the same time, and then we'll go up to the other vent and see if you guys can smell. So that way we can get a same reaction. Okay? Ooh, slight. Slight there. There is some slight urine smell right here, for okay. sure. Well, that's the one that I smelled yesterday, and it was very, very noticeable. So. Okay. Oh, yeah. Gosh, there's no oh, doubt. Yeah. yeah, 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 that second sniff. Oh, yeah. Right, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So Tyler, where would you put the smoke based on everything that we've sniffed out right now in the two vents, where would you introduce the smoke? Into the one that has all the smoke coming And from. why would that make sense to do that? Well, because this whole system is connected. So that's what this says is that the whole system here and somewhere in this line has the leak in it. So we want to test this line to find out where the leak there is running go. through this system. Perfect, perfect. And guys, we've got two cats, next door neighbor cats that are looking right at us, itching to get over here to help us out. Check them out. Right here, guys, you can tell they've secured this pretty well. And then cable wires like this, electrical lines that extend, especially with a lot of foliage and trees, rats love migrating onto the roof utilizing these cables. So we always look for some of these brown smear marks. So we got the smoke here. Okay, here we go. Ooh, look at how much movement that is. Look at that. That, that tells us right there there's a Ooh. lot of airflow. A lot of 
lot of damn smoke from the city. Okay, let's go see guys. All right, now we're down below looking for smoke. Dave's yeah. finding smoke here. Let me see the light, Dave. Put the light up. Yeah, we're good. I don't know if it's if it's coming from this closet. Yeah. But we're getting oh, yeah. lots of smoke. Oh, right here, right here. Look at that. Yep. Tons of smoke. I don't know where it's coming from, though. It should be coming from the other side. Oh. Is it from this hole yeah, here? from that hole that you guys are... Look at that. Burrowing out. Oh, right here. What's up here? Oh, right there. Yep. We need the ladder. Oh, it's coming right there. Right here. Look at that. There it Bam. is. Bam. Right Look at that. Right there. Yeah, yeah it's coming out right there. Right bro. there, guys. Yep. Good job, David. All right, guys. So we try to access the breach where we're getting all the smoke above, and it's right on top of the landing of the staircase. There's no way to access it from above. So we're gonna have to open up this ceiling right here to see if we have direct access. We're gonna build our containment. We're gonna call Emily as well and let her know what we have to do. Hello. Hi, Emily. Hi. You got David here. Just wanted to give you a quick update. Sure. So we introduced the smoke into the sewer and vent system. Okay. And and we're getting a lot of smoke coming out of your closet in your master bedroom here. Oh, okay. So with your permission, we wanted to uh, build a, a barrier here and open up the ceiling right where you sort of enter your bathroom or your, your closet. Okay. So that way we could see what's going on the, above the ceiling here. Is that okay with you? Yeah, that sounds fine. Okay, guys, we're good to go. Let's open up. Dave's getting excited. Dave's getting excited. All right, guys, got the bathroom fan, light cover all clean and sanitized. Got all that disinfected. There's the crawl space. Ooh, that crawl space is gonna be tight. So it's gonna be interesting. All right, we got a plastic barrier here. All right, we're getting prepared to cut. We've got our complete critical barrier completed here. And we're gonna go ahead and cut this ceiling. We've marked it out. All right, we kicked the smoke back on. Let's go inside and see what we can find. Okay, we're definitely getting smoke again, so it looks like we're gonna have to open up. So we know it's above this right here, so we're gonna have to open this up because that's where the smoke's coming out. Oh, guys, it is so bad in there. It is so bad with, with rat urine. The smell is horrendous. Okay, guys, so we're gonna have to now now we've identified we're getting the smoke this pipe runs right here we're going to pull the carpet back open up this subfloor here and see if we can identify if there's a breach right here All right you can see guys we've opened up right above the bathroom fan you see some rat poop right there and we're going to go ahead and open this up and here's the pipe so we're going to go ahead and uh, get the smoke going again and see what we come up with Looks like they didn't terminate that fan, maybe. We'll see. Look at the vent. See the vent right there? So maybe let's look under there. You see. Oh. Look at all that. See all the nesting materials right there, guys. Look at that. Look at that, man. Jeez. Already causing some disruption. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this, guys. Look at what they did. Oh, what, what is it? They're coming into the sewer and into the uh, bathroom fan. They connected it to the sewer system. What? Yep, they connected the bathroom fan to the sewer system. But, but Jim, is there an obvious? Uh, unbelievable how somebody would do that. Unbelievable. All right, guys, so they were coming in through the pipes here. Look at what we found. This is the bathroom exhaust fan oh, okay. yeah there's a nest here guys we found a nest down below let's go okay guys where's that nest daniel oh, right here, right where's here, that sir. nest where right here right sir. Here. Huh? Okay. okay let's put see the nest here no babies there Ooh, look at that that thing is nasty you don't hear any little not yet <laughs> Okay, go in here and take it slow. I don't want to hurt the babies. Uh, I hurt the babies. 
cute. Oh, oh. Smells like my first wife. Okay, hold on. We're done. Where at? Oh, it's disconnected, huh? Yes. Should we turn the smoke back on? Yes. Is that it right there? Yes, it is. All right, guys. So right there is a big disconnection. Big disconnection. Right there, guys, is the connection. Look at that. And they've uh, chewed right through there. Look at that, guys. Woo! We found it, guys. I love it. Woo! Amazing. That's a spine of some type of animal. I don't know if it's an old rat or what, but that's that's crazy. So, guys, look at at the end of the day, the contractor who did the remodel, he installed this exhaust fan right to the plumbing vent, which is highly, highly illegal. If there was a lot of gas fumes, it would cross contaminate into this bathroom. So two separate systems, they need to be stubbed out uh, completely different. So massive failure from a remodeler here. So we're just gonna go ahead and disconnect this and throw this away. There's no sense in cleaning and decontaminating. We're going to uh, just let Emily know that uh, this is a illegal but look at guys look at the cost that it cost this client who hired an unlicensed contractor look at what the cost and the devastation and the disruption to her home because of this one connection what a great find i am so so happy with uh with what we found here man this, this is absolutely huge here now we got to tell emily what the findings are she's going to be happy all right guys so let's go ahead give emily an update on the major findings so we found two entry points where where these rats are getting in, super stoked, fired up. I can't believe we finally found where these suckers were getting in. So let's go talk to Emily. Okay. Oh no. So we found we found two openings. Okay. The first one we found is we open up the subfloor above the staircase, right above where the fan is, and uh, so gross. and where they were coming in was they're coming at the the ventilation fan to the bathroom. They tied it into the sewer vent system no! illegally which is a big no-no because sewer gases will come through in into that Shut but up. yeah so that should be capped off the ventilation should be exhausted exhausted separately, separately. well yeah i knew it smelled like urine yep. yeah like all the time and there was so many droppings in urine inside the duct system but this was the big find this is where they were coming in emily right and, here yeah so they were coming in from the sewer no! Okay, Emily, so we had to go through this oh, drywall yeah, here, plywood, and another sheet of plywood way up in the ceiling. And look what we found. No! Separation. And you can see... See all the, see the grease marks here? This is exactly yeah. how they've been coming and going. Look at all the oil secretions at the bottom there. Unbelievable. Look, you see the chew marks? Big, big, big find. The other thing we found as we were crawling and, and introducing the smoke, we saw smoke coming from the ground. So there's a breach somewhere in the sewer line as well. Um, there's no burrows that indicate they were coming from the from the underground sewer system into the crawl space. Okay. But we did see evidence of bur uh, bursts of smoke coming right through through the soil. So that what that means, Emily, is that there's a breach in your underground sewer somewhere, okay. right? We tried to call, crawl underneath the kitchen area, but whoever was doing remodeling, perhaps maybe in the kitchen, there's a lot of tile, a lot of construction debris that's below there. So we couldn't get directly underneath the cabinets. Okay. However, we did do all the exclusions. So if they did come up through the kitchen cabinets, it's all uh, completely blocked off and okay. sealed off right now. So they're not gonna go in the dishwasher area anymore. Okay. Okay. All right, so we've got the dishwasher. Put it back here, so that's been all done. All right, you can see how much cleaner this is, guys. We've uh, the wet spots there are the our twinzyme uh, to eradicate and neutralize any of the bacteria and the odor. That's already smelling so so much better. We're gonna go ahead and cap off that pipe there. All right, guys, so we're gonna use a rubber coupling now. Rats, especially aggressive rats, they'll chew right through it. So you might wanna consider just going with a cast iron cap. But in this situation here, it's gonna work perfect. What you can do is we take some wire, we double it up. We cut it to conform the inside diameter like this. So you double that up, okay? Then what you wanna do is take some Flex Seal, spray in the inner walls, 
this will adhere the screen to the rubber, but then also the rats don't like this. We'll put this in the sunlight, let this cure, and we're good to go. There's no way they're gonna chew through that. All right, we're gonna go up and do the exclusions now and repair what those other company did here. So we're gonna get this done. All right, so you can see here, we've doubled up on this here. We're gonna go ahead and screw them down. Perfect, well, that's nice and secure. Get this side here. Okay, now we're gonna use our Flex Seal as our coater, protect the materials. All right, now we're gonna go off to the next one. That's the trophy shot right there. And you can see where they've chewed right through, but this is the secretion that we're talking about right there, look at that. Okay, so we can see half of Raul here. He's in there with the brand new piece of pipe to do the pipe repair. We've sanitized in there as well. It smells so much better in here. All right, guys, so we got the uh, plumbing all connected there. So that's done. And uh, this entire ceiling cavity smells so much better with our enzyme and our urine destroyer. So that's been completely sanitized. The pipe's been fixed. There's nothing like at the end of the day pulling the containment down knowing that you've accomplished it. So this is a great, great feeling.